Today is December the 10th, 2014, and my guest is Ray Jones, Senior Vice President, Sales, Marketing and Asset Management at Bombardier Aerospace. Mr. Jones, could you give us some thoughts on uh, 2014 reflections? With great pleasure. So, hello everybody, and for those of you I haven't met, it's nice to meet you for the first time. I am, of course, Ray Jones, as you just heard. It's been a year now since I uh, took over this job, and uh, I'm delighted to have come into it. I've been in the company for over a decade, and in my time in the company, I've sold every airplane that our company builds. It's a great position to be in, and it's been a great year, and 2014, without a doubt, has been one of great highs and one of significant uh, lows. So the year started off very well indeed. We sold in the first quarter more airplanes across more regions than we had done in 11 years of our history. And that's a superb achievement for all of us. It was all of our aircraft types and uh, on every continent. As we went into the second quarter, of course, we were all looking forward very much to Farnborough at the end of it and, of course, to perhaps taking our new airplane, the C-Series, to Farnborough. Of course, as most of you will know, we didn't end up doing that, and for a period of time, our airplane had to stop flying. It's all part of the flight test process for a new aircraft as it goes through the certification process. And in the time that the airplane was on the ground, of course, we made some adjustments, or some adjustments were made to the engine by Pratt & Whitney, and of course, the airplane resumed flying again. We're delighted with how the airplane is performing, and in fact, four of them are now flying, uh, flight test vehicles one, two, three, and 4. Flight Test Vehicle 5, I've just seen the hangar just a few minutes ago, and it has the interior in the airplane, which represents almost exactly what will go into our production aircraft in due course, and it's very exciting to see an airplane with all the seats in it. That particular test vehicle will start flying pretty soon as well, and then we'll have five in the air altogether. And so in the second quarter, we led up to Farnborough. As I mentioned, it was a difficult time for us because, of course, we didn't have our new airplane there. But nonetheless, the show was fantastic. And we managed to announce a considerable number of firm orders and options, again, for all three of our aircraft and, again, for every part of the globe and on every continent. As we went into the third quarter, typically a quiet period of time for us. Again, we focused very, very much on rebuilding our team around the world and we opened a new office in Sao Paulo. We consolidated our teams in the Far East and in Europe and in Africa. And of course in North America we continued to build strength in our sales teams as well. The third quarter itself was excellent for us and as we went through the third quarter we were particularly pleased to announce a significant order for the C-Series with Macquarie Air Finance which of course was received by the public very well indeed. The CRJs and the Q400s continued to sell very well in the third quarter, particularly with the Q400s in the Middle East and Africa, and of course with the CRJs in North America predominantly. And as we end the fourth quarter and race up towards Christmas and the New Year, it's pretty much the same as it's been for the rest of the year. We've done very well in terms of our overall orders this year, but we have a few more things in our bag before the year ends and we have only 21 days left of the year plus one turkey and some Christmas puddings but by the time we get there I'm absolutely certain that we'll be able to close the year with a phenomenal result overall. So to answer your question in a very long-winded way it's been an exceptional year and one of great pride to me and one in fact I've enjoyed very much indeed. So the natural follow-on to that of course is some ideas for 2015 that you might be able to share with us? With, expectations. with great pleasure. So 2015 will continue in much the same vein as 2014. I think as an organization, our structural changes will start to solidify very well as we go forward. And our working practices and our governance and all of the things that change when you change the structure of a company will stabilize very well. Our pipeline for sales has grown continually through 14 and it's going to feed us very well in 15, particularly on the CRJ where we've worked quite hard in North America to put the aeroplane very much in the focus of the major carriers. I think we'll see significant orders coming in in 15. With the C-Series, as the flight test vehicles continue to accelerate through their program, in fact, come towards the end of their program, we'll see the start of the ramp up for the first production aircraft to come into service. And I have absolutely no doubt whatsoever that as that does happen, 
our conversations with our clients and our potential clients will change again and again and again and we'll see some quite exciting orders come to fruition. And for the Q400, exactly the same. The aeroplane is full of promise for us. We have some ideas about what we would do next with the aeroplane and I'm certain that our clients will like that. I'll keep my powder dry if I may as to what they are, but I'm sure you'll all find out in 15. So without a doubt, 15 is going to be a great year for us and we're really looking forward to getting into it. Can I sneak in one quick question Go about ahead. the Paris Air Show? Will we see the C-Series at Paris? Uh, you might. <laughs> Thank you.